Zoom surveys allow you to quickly create and edit surveys that can be easily shared with participants. These surveys are able to be shared not only immediately after a meeting, but also outside of meetings as well, providing more ways for users to engage with your audiences. To begin creating a survey, head over to the Zoom portal by going to stonybrook.zoom.us. From here, sign in using your Net ID and password. Once you're signed in, on the left column, select Surveys. This will take you to the area where you can create a survey, poll, or quiz. To create a survey, select Survey. And then choose Create. From here, you can click the title of your survey to change it. Then you can choose your question type. Your options are a single choice question where the participant can only answer with one choice, multiple choice where the participant can select one or more option, matching where participants can match prompts with possible answers, and rank order where participants can rank answers using rows and columns. Additional options include short answer, where participants can provide a written response within a character limit, long answer, where participants can provide a longer written response, fill in the blank, where participants can complete a phrase or sentence, and rating scale, where participants can answer a question with a value between a range of numbers. Once you select your question type, you can type in your question. and then the potential responses. For single choice, multiple choice, matching, and rank order questions, you can add additional options as well. After you finish typing your questions and responses, you can determine if you would like to make your question required to answer. For single choice questions, you also have the option to show choices in a drop down box. And if you select the picture icon, you can upload an image to the question. If you select the dot 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 at the bottom of a question, you have access to duplicate the question, as well as the option to add skip logic to the question. Skip logic allows you to skip a specific question depending on which single choice question option a person selects. To the left of the question and below the question, you will have the option to add an additional question to the survey. At the top of the survey, you can select the eyeball icon to preview how the survey will look to others. You can also select the dot dot dot, which will allow you to save the survey as a draft. To finish, select Save. To edit or delete a survey, in the Zoom portal, select the dot 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 next to your survey. And then choose Edit or Delete. In this case, I will select Edit. When editing or creating a survey, select the gear icon at the top. Here you will have access to the following settings. You can require answers to be anonymous, number your questions, and show participants which question type they are answering for each question. 
You can also type in customized feedback text for participants after they submit their answers for the survey. By selecting the paint icon, you can do the following to change your survey theme. You can change the background color of the survey, and you can also upload a header image that will be displayed with the survey. If you would like to share your survey via a link to others, you have two different options. The first is available by saving your survey. Once you do this, you will see an option to copy the link of the survey to share with others. The second option is accessible via the Survey tab of the Zoom portal. Here you can find the survey you wish to share and select the link icon to copy the URL of the survey. Once you have the URL, you can send it to others. If you would rather your survey appear to participants immediately after they leave a meeting, follow these steps. In the Zoom portal, select Meetings. Then select the title of the meeting you want to place your survey in. From here, select Survey. In this area, you have the option to insert a third-party survey to the meeting. But if you would like to use a Zoom survey, choose the Add Survey button. Here, you can create either a new survey or you can select a survey from your library that you already created. When selecting a survey from your library, choose the survey you wish to include. Then select Confirm. To view your survey results, go to the survey area of the Zoom portal and select the graph icon next to your survey. Here, in the Results Overview tab, you can see how many responses there were to the survey, the average time spent on the survey, and the survey completion rate. Below, you can also see each question and the responses to them. In the Results by Launch tab, You can see the launch history of the survey, which will show the separate results of each time you ran the survey. And in the Results by Respondent tab, you can see the results of each individual participant who took the survey. If you wish to download the survey results, select the Download icon at the top right of the screen. From here, you can download all results into a CSV file, and you can also download the select history of a specific launch of the survey. To close the survey, you can either select the Close Survey button in the Results Overview tab while reviewing the results, or you can go back to the survey area and select the slider under the Publish column. Thank you for watching. For more Zoom related content, please subscribe to our channel.